everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with day five of my Christmas series for 2020. So for today, I'm going to feature making a Christmas garland. So dig into your stamp sets, look at your images, and I'm sure you have an image, an image or two that would make a great garland, whether it's for your tree, your mantle, the wall, anything. So here we go. For today's project, I'm going to use Newton's Nook um, stamp set. It is absolutely adorable. There is a die set that is also available, and this is called Holiday Stockings. I just thought these images were cute. They were precious and very versatile because of the size. So I'm just going to stamp every one of these stockings. And I'm going to do that using my Gina K amalgam. Yes, this is not the obsidian. This is the original amalgam, black. Um, and I do not believe, I believe this has been discontinued um, because I think the obsidian came back. So just know that this is no longer available. I'm going to stamp each of these images once. But the one stocking up in the upper right hand corner with the star I'm going to stamp that a couple more times so I'm actually going to pick that stamp set up and I believe on an acrylic block and I'm just going to stamp that out that way as I put these um, back in my packet remember these videos will be on the long side because I'm keeping as much as I can in I am speeding up the videos but again I want to show you as much as I can. So you're going to see all of the stamping. You're going to see all of the coloring for the most part, unless I forget to hit record, which I'll let you because there's a couple that I forgot to do that. But there is some coloring in the videos. Never fear. Um, so for this, I am going to be using my colored pencils um, to color these in. I did use my Prismacolors. So we've really sped this up and the cardstock that I am using for these is the Nina Desert Storm. I am using two colors for each of my blends and the pack that I'm using for my Prism colors is the 36 count. So, and I'm just going to dig in with all kinds of colors. I mean, I know we're used to the traditional colors when it comes to the red and the green and the gold. Um, but there can be blues, there can be aquas, there can be pinks, purples. Um, so we're just going to go in with each of those colors. I'm usually putting my shadow on the left-hand side. It's something that I kind of do. But stockings do have a round sense to them. Um, so, and that's kind of what I always do when it comes to blending. Um, for some reason, it's just something that I do. I, I'll put a blend on each side. So everything I do just has a round effect. <laughs> I really, honestly, I don't worry about the light source. I want to enjoy the process. And, and again, I eventually I will. Um, I do take into consideration that there is a light source going on here. Um, but again, enjoy the process. Have fun coloring. If you want to color your snowman pink, color your snowman pink. Um, if you want to color in purple with two different colors, then, then do that. Just enjoy. Get used to what you want to work with. And we only get used to what we want to work with is if we keep practicing with it. There are some things that maybe we don't want to try, and that's okay, too. Um, again, every single piece that you put together and every single piece, whether it's just paper or you've used a coloring medium, it's a piece of art. It's your piece of art, and it's unique. Remember, I always say, dig into your stash. I am sure that you have one, if not more than one, of those images that you could create your own garland. But dig in. 
have fun with it. Um, again, colored pencils are my medium of choice. Um, I could, I just love working with them. I've, I've worked with colored pencils since just a very long time. Um, it's just something that I, I gravitated to, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to try, um, other things as well. And I do like to try other items. So you can see we've gone through the, um, snowman, the tree, um, the knitted, I'll call that one the knitted in the upper right hand corner. Now we're working on the little pup here and just creating some blends in for him. Um, to give him some shadows. And we're just going to make him just a little bit darker than we will um, Newton, the little kitty. I think it's adorable how Newton's one of the stockings as well. I think that is absolutely precious. going to come in with a little bit darker brown. Um, I did try to stick with two shades, um, but for the little puppers here, we're just going to add a little bit more of a dark shade um, for him, adding in some rosy cheeks. And we're going to bring in the green for the background of this stocking here. And what we're actually going to turn these into as you saw in the beginning, are stamps. Um, now, if you have the, crinkle, the crinkle scissors, you could use that. If you are the proud owner of the decal trimmer that is out, you can use that as well. Um, I actually pulled out one of my Hero Arts dies. Um, that is actually the Infinity stamp nested um, dies. I just chose one that would be the perfect size um, for that. So now we've got the little kitty filled in and now we're just going to do the hearts. And we'll add the shading to those as well. But I think the images in these stockings are just so cute. Um, you can put them on a card coming off of a mantle. Um, again, you could just, as I said, there is a die that's available for this. These would be absolutely adorable little ornaments for a tree. Um, again, I, I started a couple years ago. Um, I'm hoping one day I'll have to get a bigger tree, but I did actually start a tree. I have multiple trees in my house. They're not big. I just have multiple trees. Um, I have one that's like a memory tree with ornaments that, you know, my grandmother gave me or my sister has bought me or we went somewhere and said, Hey, got to get that ornament. Um, but I also, and then I have a, I do have a huge tree that's out um, in my sunroom, which is awesome just to stare at, um, when it's lit up. Cause I could just, uh, looking at a Christmas tree with lights is like a fishbowl for me. I could just stare at a Christmas tree with those lights on just, and just get lost and relax. I think it's beautiful. I think it's peaceful. But about a couple years ago, I started another tree, um, with just paper, whether it's tags, whether it's ornaments, um, garlands. Um, and it's, it's been a long time to develop because here's my Gabby. I'm Gabby. Um, it's been a long time to develop because usually with any of the tags or garlands that I'm making, they were always gifts, um, to my sister and they still are. And now I'm just holding some back. <laughs> She'll have some, but she's not getting all of them. Um, this will be my garland. I, I'm going to keep this one. Um, she's not getting this one. 
Um, so you can see we're almost done. I do have these three that I did stamp out three times because there were like eight or nine stockings and I wanted to make sure that I had like 11 or 12 placements on the um, string that I'm going to attach these to. So now we're just coming down to the end and we're just going to fill in the stripes. So again, you know, there's so much that you can do. Um, but if you just like to make cards, that's okay too. Um, you could have a tree made with cards. I mean, think about that. If you make cards in a four by four, or, I mean, they could be the standard size. You can certainly hang that from, from your, your tree branch to paint upon the size of the card. Could you imagine though, if you made a card and you really liked it, and then you'd always make a miniature card and hang, have that as an ornament for your tree, that would be really cool. I don't know how you'd make it a miniature if you use the stamp set, but it would still be cool. <laughs> so now we're going to finish up with the penguin. And again, we're going to use black for him, but still fade it out so that we can have some dimension for him as well. Making sure that we can see the little wings um, and making sure that he will look rounded, so to speak. Yes, so I've gone off camera here, um, not realizing that I shifted way too far down, but, you know, we're back. You know, I pushed it back up. I realized that we, you know, did that, but we're back off camera again. There's a lot of things you got to remember as you're doing this. <laughs> But I do hope, and again, I'm going to go back to the Gabby. Remember, people, my videos are filled with Gabby. Um, but I do hope everyone is enjoying um, this series so far. There are so many out there, and they are just fun to watch. Um, I've been watching them all, just getting inspired and getting some great ideas um, with what people are doing and, and how they're doing them. Um, when it comes to whether they're doing collaborations or they're doing them live, um, or they have the mixture or they're, you know, just digging into their stash. You, remember, mine's a combination of some possibly new products that have come out during the year or throughout this year. Um, or they, I literally go through my stash, um, and I pull everything out Christmas in every area of my room, whether that's embossing folders, stamp sets, dies, um, I just pull that all out. And then I literally just keep it next to me. And as I get to the next day, I'm like, this is the card that I'm going to make. Um, so it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. So you can see I've used my die from Hero Arts to cut out my backing and I'm using one of my makeup brushes and broken china and I'm just putting a little bit in the background um, these are where these are the panels that the stockings will sit in you can see I've done all of my die cutting along the top even the top part of the stocking I did that in a craft color um, I'm going to add a little bit of white pencil to that um what would look cool is if you die cut it from flock flock sheets um or felt that would have been cute too going to clean off my makeup brush and the only i clean them off just by rubbing them on a dry cloth um and then just setting them aside I'm going to prop each one of these up. I'm going to use my foam tape that I get from Uline. And I'm going to prop each one of these up onto another rectangle cut um, from my craft cardstock. Now, this is my recollections. This is not the Desert Storm. Um, I only use that to color my images. So you can see that I've done this in a production style, which is wonderful, and how you should do it.
once I have all of my double-sided foam tape on, I'll then get them set up onto the craft cardstock. Now you can see that craft cardstock um, was cut about two inches by two and three quarters. So we're just coming down to the end here. As I said, showing you showing it all to you. I do get some comments and some email, emails where people do ask um, to see everything. I just have to remember that there's times that I walk away. <laughs> I forget to stop the, the camera from filming. Um, with the Uline double-sided foam tape, it is very strong um, and it's at a great price point. Um, problem is the release paper is very difficult to remove. So I do use a pokey tool um, to get that release paper started. And I gummed up my Spellbinders tool in one, so now I'm going to move on to my next pokey tool. <laughs> so I usually don't use my Spellbinders for that because I don't want it gummed up. Um... As I said, it's an extremely strong adhesive, so it does take a lot of alcohol to clean them up. Okay, so we are at the last one. I did remove some of them. That was like watching paint dry. So I figured you all didn't need to, to watch all of that. <laughs> so here are our panels. Um, you can see... I have about 10 to 11 here, and now I'm just getting my stockings ready, and I am going to use double-sided foam squares to prop them up. Um, I do like to have the dimension. I'm not worried about putting them in an envelope. Now, by all means, you could. I mean, this would be a wonderful gift for someone for the holidays. Um... But I did want to have a lot of dimension on these. Now, I didn't, I like the concept, and I'm going to put the 25 cents down onto these stamps. But, I mean, you could have gone so far to draw another line so that that edge, so it actually looks like a picture was going on in there. I mean, you could really have a lot of fun when creating these and what they would actually look like. So I am going to have them just tip down on each of these panels. And I just think they're really cute. They're really sweet. I think they are just absolutely great images. And then once these are done, I'm going to pull down my next ones, my next five, and I'm going to set those stockings in place. This really, this project really didn't take long at all. I'm going to say it took probably about an hour to set this up. Um, and that includes actually the coloring. The coloring of all these took about 30 minutes. It took about half the time. Um, but I mean, once you went through the die cutting and, and everything else, I mean, no, no time at all um, to get these all together. Of course, I'm going to prop up the top of the stocking as well. And then I'll do the same thing. I will lay them out and then just place the tops of the stockings on top. And then I'll come in with that white colored pencil. And I figure I'd just show you the last two. Again, no need to watch paint dry. <laughs> And when I come in with my white colored pencil, I'm only going to go onto the one side. I'm not going to color the entire piece. So you can see I'm coming in also with my Faber-Castell uh, Pit Fine Liner. 
I believe this is the small size. And of course, I'm putting 25 cents. Do Does anybody remember stamps when they were 25 cents? Just saying. Um, because, of course, I want the 25 for for Christmas. So I'm just going to go right along, use the edge of the pencil, and I'm just going to put some white down the one side. I do like the look of white against craft. Um, now, again, this is a craft paper. This is by Recollections. Again, I only use the Desert Storm uh, for the stocking, the the toe, the, the body of the stocking, not the top part of it. Um, I do like the look of also colored pencils on Desert Storm. That's really the only cardstock that I will use my colored pencils on, if that makes sense. Um, I don't like to use Nina Solar White and put, car and put colored pencils on that. I like to have a tooth to the paper when I'm using my colored pencils. I do have another rectangle of the Recollections Craft cardstock cut um, two and three quarters by two inches because I'm going to layer them. Um, I'm going to sandwich this twine in between each of these pieces. So I'm going to set that down. I'm going to put glue down and then I'm just going to apply pressure. Make sure it's even and make sure that strings in there. And I'm just going to do that for each one. And I'm just going to set them to be evenly spaced about three inches apart. So this will be approximately I really don't know the length. That was something that I did not measure. Hmm. Hold on, let me go get it. <laughs> okay, so if we measure... Yes, I'm measuring. So you will be able to have the enjoyment of the screen of watching me put these on the string. Okay, so I guess I should have done that first. And now it's falling. So this actually measures still measuring guys. It's not that long. <laughs> So about 45 inches from loop to loop. Yeah, 45 inches, which is, is nice. Usually if I do make a garland, um, I try to keep it within a yard. Um, I don't like it to be too much bigger than that because then I'm fearful it's going to knot up. Um, because when you get things just way too long, they're tough to control. Um, and plus, this way, when you make them that size, you can add multiples. I do like, you know, different garlands hanging from a tree. I um, mean, I do like to have, you know, that one, um, you know, strand that's the same. And I am a huge fan of tinsel but I can't have tinsel because of my cat, because he would eat it. My cat is wonderful that way. I think he's part goat. Um, I have to constantly keep an eye on him. He eats paper. It is amazing at what he does, but he definitely does do it. Um, it, it just absolutely kills me. So this is what we've got so far. Um, I am really, really happy with this. I'm absolutely loving this, but it needed something just a little bit special. So what I did was I pulled down um, that pot of gems that I have, and I'm just going to add one red gem 
to each of the stockings. It could be any color that you would want, but I thought red was just going to pull everything through really nice. And I am just putting that on each one of them. And again, the great thing about the Tombow glue, it does um, dry clear. I cannot wait. I think I'm just going to break down and get my wax pencils back. I like this tool, um, but it's really sticky. <laughs> my wax pencil, when I would touch it, it would actually release. So I do hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you can see that, yes, I'm going to let you see the whole process. Um, yeah, I'll take some things out. But again, we made a Christmas garland for day five of my Christmas series for 2020. Um, again, all the products that I use will be listed down below in the video description. And if you have any questions, please make sure you leave those down below as well. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy your day. Continue to stay safe and healthy. And I'm always going to tell you to do that. Uh, as we continue through our journey together. But most important, always remember what is most important for me and just do it a little bit each day. Always be creative. Till next time, guys. Take care.